Right, guys, welcome to day 43 of the ICT Games Daily Dollop of Maths, keeping the math skills bubbling over while, for year one and year two while we can't be in school. Um, hope you guys are well. Um, uh, please could you be sat with an adult? Uh, please could you have a piece of paper and a pencil ready? And uh, please can you call out? Join in. Love your mistakes. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start with some counting in twos. Let's go. Everybody joining in, counting in twos. Here we go. Ready? Zero, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Right, we're going to stop there. Okay, now, let me just reveal these to you all. These are in counting in twos. A while ago we talked about this. We talked about... Anything ending in one of these digits would be a mm number. You remember? Don't you part if you remember? Would it be an mm number? A mm -mm number. Yeah, even. So anything ending in a zero is even. All of those are even. Anything ending in a two is even. Anything in ending in a four is even. All of these, all the way down. So I'm just I'm missing them as I click. Anything ending in a six, anything ending in an eight, sorry. All of those numbers are even. I don't even I don't have to work out if I could share that between two people. I just know sixty-four is even because it ends in a four. If I um clear wall, if I move this number track down, number sorry, this number line down, okay, and hide. Here's the numbers ending in zero. Here's numbers ending in two. Here's numbers ending in four, six. Oh, sorry, eight. All of these are even. 140. That's even. All of these are even. 152. Yeah, that's even. All of these are. Oh, sorry, I'm rubbish at that, aren't I? All of these are even. Yeah, 164. That's even. All of these are even. All of these are even. So if it ends in a 0, a 2, a 4, a 6, or an 8, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, those are all even. Okay. And also, along the same lines, if I just put it back, okay, along the same lines, if it doesn't end in a 2, a 4, a 0, a 2, a 4, a 6, or an 8, then it ends in one of these instead. These are all odd. Yeah, well done. Ends in one, 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 ends in one. Odd. Ends in three, 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 ends in three. I can't say it. Odd. Ends in five, 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 ends in five. They're all odd. Odd. Odd, 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 odd. You can't share those equally between two people. They're odd. Okay, if you had 69 current buns, you couldn't share them out between two people because they get really fat. But also, there um, uh, there's not enough. You know, there's one there's one left over at the end. Okay, good job, guys. Now we've been talking about our times. Uh, times tables is something that year two starts talking about. Year ones, you'll be thinking times tables. I'm not sure what you mean. We're learning about doing something many times. So I'm going to put two on here. And how many times am I going to am I going to have two? I'm going to have it three times, okay? Two times three. Let's have a look. There it is. This is called an oh yeah, an array. Well done. Here's your two. That's time number one. That's the first time. How many times have I got to do it? Three times. Time number one. Time number two. Time number three. Two times three. You can think of as an array like this, and you can count two four six so two times three is six now year twos you need to uh, uh, also be able to think of another fact so what else do you know what else do you know about two times three yeah three times two is also six look look at these spots stare at them do not move spots i am watching you no spots leave they're still all there okay so there's still two four six Okay, uh, so the, we haven't lost any. Two times three is six, and three times two is also six. 
Okay, now, not everybody knows all of their um, times table facts. Well, nobody knows all of their times table facts straight away. In fact, we all, all through our life, have to keep um, uh, remembering them and learning them, okay? Now, what we have been doing is we have been counting in twos, and we've been counting in fives and tens. And in year two, you need to be able to know your times tables for your two times table, your five times table, and your ten times table. Okay? Now, why, in year one, you don't need to know any of those yet. You, you can start learning them if you want, but you're just supposed to be getting the idea. Now, this is a new thing. I just finished today to hopefully help. Um, I was talking about this yesterday, about touching your nose, um, getting the right number of fingers out and touching your nose. Um, I'll show you again. Here's two times three. What I would think of is I'm just going to get three fingers up, a thumb and two fingers, okay? And I'm going to see what number I get to. But as I do it, I'm going to count in twos. Two, four, six. Two times three. I've counted in twos on my fingers. And when I get to the third finger, that's the answer. Two times three is six. Let's try another one on here. So let's do two times uh, six, two times six. So we've got two, how many times have we got it? Six times, time number one, time number two, time number three, time number four, time number five, time number six. Now luckily here we can count in twos, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We know that's twelve, but you haven't got these arrays in front of you all the time but you have usually got your fingers with you. So what we can do is think, okay, I need to work out what two times six is. I'm gonna close all my fingers and I'm gonna open them until I get to the sixth finger. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna keep counting in twos until we've finished on this sixth finger. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So I think two times six is 12. Let's go back and check on our thing on our array that we saw. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yes, it is. 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try 2 times 9. Now, you might know what double 9 is. You might know that fact already. You might know what 2 times 9 is. Okay, but uh, here's 2. Time number 1, time number 2, time number 3, time number 4, time number 5, time number 6, Time number seven, time number eight, time number nine. Also, two, add 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 two. That also works, okay? But now we're gonna use our, our fingers to work out two times nine, because we haven't always got one of these in front of us. Okay, right, so we're gonna stop at the ninth finger, which is five here. One and then six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to stop when we get to this finger, okay? We're not going to get to the tenth, we're just going to keep to, we'll stop at the ninth. So we're going to count in twos. Join in two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Two times two times nine is eighteen. Let's have a look on here. Two, Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. It is. Wow. Okay, I'll do one more. Uh, two times seven. Two times seven. Okay. Do you know what? No, let's do a different one. Let's do a five times table one. Five times. Uh, let's do five times seven. Okay. Perhaps I don't know off the top of my head what five times seven is. I do need to know eventually at the end of year two. But while I'm learning, I could try and work it out. Ooh, look at that array. There's your five. There's five there, look. Time number one, time number two, time number three, time number four, time number five, time number six, time number seven. Five, seven times, okay? Now we, we can count in fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Join in again. Five, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay, 
we think it's 35. Let's test out our fingers doing the five times table. We're going to stop. How many fingers do we want to get to? The seventh finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're stopping at this finger. Okay. Let's count in fives because we're doing the five times table. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. We think five times seven is thirty-five. Let's go back and check our array. Count in fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. There you go. How awesome is that? Okay. So let's have a look. So you might after this have a go at um, Funky Mummy and have a go at the two times table and the five times table as well if you wanted um, on there. OK, definitely, though, definitely, particularly year twos, type into Google, Google Dice and have a go at our thing again, our, our practicing for two minutes. How many two times tables you can answer in two minutes okay this will get you the dice you can just press on there to roll the dice uh, so I'm going to do two times five and I write the answer and then I'm going to do two times two and write the answer and then I'm going to do two times nine and write the answer and then at the end from our printout from before from yesterday I'm going to mark them on here, I'll check them off on this list to see if they're correct. And then, if I go back to my bar chart from yesterday, perhaps today I got seven right in my two minutes. So I can cut. I leave a gap on my on my chart, and I draw a new bar. And perhaps I got seven right. And can you see? I'm already feeling good because yesterday I got five right. Today I got seven right. Okay. So you need the you need somebody to to do a two minute timer. And you need uh, this dice up so that with 12 sides so that you can keep doing different numbers. And I have, I mean, in class we had um, some music on like um, uh, The Final Countdown by Europe or Jump from Van Halen or the Rocky Music or something groovy like that. Okay, now let's have a look what else we've got. So anybody who's feeling super comfortable on the two times tables, why not? play tables tennis I'll put the link under the video you choose that you want to do the two times table you press one person sits this side one person sits this side and uh, two times six well that's twelve two times five oh that's ten Two times twelve, ooh, fourteen. You see, we're trying to remember our facts as quickly as we can, because that's what you need to do. The, the more you pull the facts from your brain, the faster you'll know them next time. So this is encouraging you to get that fluency. Okay, guys, brilliant. Well, that was a quick one today, wasn't it? Oh, well done, anyway. Um, sorry about that. So your prize today is you get a pet chinchilla that lives on your shoulder. Imagine... Walking down the town, down uh, uh, down into town, seeing your friends in town, and you've got a pet chinchilla that doesn't leave your shoulder. You go into class, you've always got your chinchilla on your shoulder, and you can feed it, and it nibbles on you, and it's all generally lovely. Okay, guys, have a brilliant day. Uh, see you next time.